Well, there she is, fellas. I thought I'd put my new bow on. It just showed up this morning. Um, pretty happy with the bow, man. Pretty pleased with it. I haven't shot it maybe five, um, five to ten times. I haven't shot it very much. Got the B55 on it. It came with it brand new. I just knocked it. Put a couple uh, cat whiskers on it. See if it helps a little bit of that hand shock. But beautiful strand green and light tan. And this is a light tan uh, glass bow. It's a 1957 Kodiak Special. Bear Kodiak Special. Beautiful bow, man. Gorgeous wood. Nice leather grip. Original grip. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, here's the other side there. You guys can see the... Well, it's got like a little a spalding or whatever you call it right in there. You know, just a little patina or whatever. Everything looks really good. Bow ends are just beautiful. Look at them bow ends. Absolutely beautiful, man. Beautiful bow ends. It's got kind of red. The sun's not out. I'll have to put this on, but it's red and kind of green, tan, white. Anyway, just showing this bow. Just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it's got a little of that. I guess you could call it a little bit of checkering. Not much, but he was just re clear coated the bow. You can see the red the colors in it, like a little piece, like a jewel, man, like a uh, ruby or something. It's absolutely beautiful. But uh, there was no holes in the bow, no cracks, nothing like that. It just got a clear coat to uh, give it a nice shine and bring it back to life a little bit. Anyway, 1957 Bear Kodiak Special. It is a uh, 64 AMO and then the uh, draw weight is 64, uh, 46 so it's 64 AMO 46 pound kind of back and forth on, on the numbers there I scaled it it's pulling just a little bit heavy I think it's pulling like 47 48 at 28 and then at my draw it's pulling 57 so I got a 1957 bear Kodak special and it's pulling 57 pounds at 31 inch draw Let's give it a shot. Let me give it a couple shots. I, I got some, uh, I've been shooting those cheaper little, I shouldn't say cheaper, but cedar arrows. I ordered some nice uh, oak arrows for it. So, green, match the string, green, brown, real nice oak arrows coming. So they should be here maybe later today. Anyway, hey, well, let me give it a shot. 1957 Bear Glass Bar Kodak Special. Well, about 57 pounds in there, 57, 58 pounds for me. one you see that thing it just rips man Whew, let me try it again it's she's fast i say it's only about my 10th shot out of this bow these arrows i think might be a, a little bit weak spot they shoot good the bow is fast i can tell it is fast try it again He's fast. It definitely helped a little bit on the uh, hand shock and stuff. Really kind of smoothed it up. All right, this is, those are the first couple cold shots there. Just uh, first couple steel shots there, I should say, out of this bow. I shot about 10 times. So first couple shots, I should say, for the video. Anyway, let's try the first shot. I haven't even tried to move with it. So I'm really liking it. It's quiet. It's fast. It's a lot like my uh, 1955 Kodiak, but it's faster and it's got more, it's a stronger bow. So, a little faster. Does it shoot any better? I don't know yet. I won't know for a few days. Does it look better? Yeah, it's a beautiful bow. It definitely looks better. It's a gorgeous bow. It's a keeper. She ain't going nowhere except with uh, the unknown archer. Well, let me give it a shot here. <laughs> Yeah, you guys seen it, man. That's my first shot moving with this baby. 
It just blew right through it. I don't know where it blew through, but it definitely hit it. You guys probably seen it trip. Rip the, looks like I ripped the paper off. Let me check it. What a beaut, man. What a beaut. 1957 Kodiak Special. Let's see. I think it must have just blew right. Yeah, it did blew right through there. Sorry about the camera deal. Oh, yeah. She's all cracked out right there. It just blew through it. First shot, kill shot, moving. Uh, 1957 Bear Kodiak Special. I think I have a new favorite bow here, fellas. I haven't shot this bow. That was maybe my 12th shot with this damn bow, so 15 yards. So I'll find out when I get back here, 35, 40, but she's fast. I know it's going to be uh, spot on at 40 yards. So, But I got me some heavier arrows coming for it. They're oak. And they're 430 grain arrow, and then you got, then I got 125 grain heads put on them, so whatever that is, I'll be looking at about 5, 555, something like that. So, on the uh, arrow weight, I think that's about a uh, 500 grain arrow right there. Anyway, I'm out here making my video too long. Just want to show you guys my new bow. Oh, I guess I should mention the price. Man, what a beauty. It's a beautiful old bow, man. Like I said, the guy was left-handed that had the bow, and this is a right-handed bow. He said he has like 10 bows that he keeps. He said he would have kept this one, but it's uh, not left-handed. So, anyway, thanks to the guy I bought it from, which is, uh, man, you guys ought to check him out if he's selling a bow. That's a damn good bow. He sold some good bows. Northern Rebel or something like that? Northern Rebel, some, something like that on eBay. I'll see you guys. That's my new bow, man. It's a keeper. I'm selling bows too myself. I'm going to be listing some bows on eBay. So, and I start them out cheap. So you guys, I may list my hunter. I put the Kodiak 59 on for like 75 bucks. I'm going to list the hunter like 75 bucks. Uh, I don't know what all I'm going to put on, but I'm going to start listing some bows. But that one, that one's staying here with daddy. I'll see you guys. Take care.